All right, now we're ready to sew. So we've got a couple buttons up here that I wanna show you. First of all, you've got a speed control button right here. So if you're one of those people that has a super lead foot, you can go ahead and turn it to this middle speed and no matter how hard you push on that foot control, it's only gonna go that middle speed. You're also gonna have that needle up, needle down, which we've already used. Um, and we use that so that we could um, get our needle in the right position to do our threading. This right here is gonna be your back stitch button. Right here is your start stop button, because guess what? You can sew with or without a foot control. If I have my foot control plugged in, and right now I do, I have it plugged into the back, I've got to use my foot control. If I unplug it, then you get to use your start stop button and you can sew without your foot control, but it's either or. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my thread under here and we're gonna select a stitch. This is your, your LCD screen and this is your stitch selector right here. If you wanted a stitch, so for instance, let's say I wanted to do a center straight stitch, then I would go to stitch 01 and I could just push that button up and it's gonna go ahead and select my stitch for me. It's also gonna set the length of my stitch and the width of my stitch, which on a straight stitch is gonna be where your needle position falls. Um, this is so wonderful because you don't have to get out your manual and go, okay, what should I set it for when I do stitch 04? It's going to automatically set it for you and you can always modify it right here. Um, another really nice thing about this is it is going to tell you what foot it recommends. So right now it's recommending for this stitch, stitch 01, which is a straight center stitch. It's recommending that I use foot J and there is my foot J, it's already on the machine. How do I know it's my foot J? Because I'm gonna take that foot off. There's a little button back here, it's a little black button, and when I push that towards me, the foot falls off, isn't that neat? And if you look at this foot right there, it says J, and that's gonna just be your zigzag foot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. The easiest way to put your foot on is to go ahead and put it right underneath where there's a little bar here, um, where that can clamp down on the bar. I'm just gonna reach to the back, and I like to do it with this hand because this is where you lower it down, and I'm just gonna lower it down on there, and if you heard that click, it clamped right on, okay? So easy peasy. Let's go ahead and do some straight stitching. My favorite stitch, stitch 01. I'm gonna go ahead and lower my, um, my presser foot. And there we go. And if I wanna go faster, I can just speed it up right here. And you get this nice, beautiful stitch. This is also a nice feature because you're gonna see every time I stop, my needle's ending needle down. And I can just go ahead and pick up my presser foot, turn my fabric, and pivot, and we're ready to go again. And needle down, I can just turn and pivot. Um, this is how you're gonna select where you're gonna be with your stitches. If I'm right here, that's gonna be my utility stitches, and that means I can be in this folder right here. Do you see how the picture matches this picture? And now I can select any of these stitches. If I go ahead and hit this button, well now I'm gonna be here, and you have fonts, so you can actually program this and uh, do some letters, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my needle up, raise my foot, and on the side of my machine over here, I've got a little cutter. I can just pull my threads and go ahead and cut, and I am done. Isn't that nice? And it's got a beautiful stitch. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and modify your stitch and um, modify the length and the width. So I'm gonna go back here to my utility stitches, and let's say we wanna do a zigzag, that's stitch 04. I'm on 00, I'm just gonna hit this button right here, and you can go down too if you want, so I'm gonna go to 04. It's already preset it for me, and this is a zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower my foot. And let's say I'm, I wanna make that stitch a little bit wider, and you can see the picture right here shows you the width. Right now I'm set at 3.5 millimeters, I'm gonna go ahead and make it 4.5. And maybe I want those zigzags to be a little bit closer together. I'm gonna to reduce this, my stitch length, down to a one. 
How about I want to make it a nice satin stitch? I'm going to take this stitch length all the way down to a 0 0.4. And let's go ahead and take a look at our stitch. I'm gonna go needle up, put my presser foot up, go ahead and cut my thread right here on the side. And here you see I've got uh, a zigzag stitch. All I did was modify the length, uh, the width and the length, and right here's the satin stitch. Same stitch, I just played with these buttons right over here. Um, you can also do other stitches. Let's say you wanted to do something like this stitch right here, stitch 70, which is that nice little heart stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, and I'm gonna go this direction because I'll get there faster. And let's go down. Now it's telling me that I should use the end foot. And here's the end foot. I left it out because I was gonna show this to you. So again, I'm gonna take my foot off by pushing in on this button. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the presser foot holder down onto the presser foot. And let's go ahead and do our decorative stitch. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my start stop button. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the presser foot, because remember it's either or. And now I can go ahead and hit my start button. I wonder if this works. All right, I'm gonna put my needle up. And look how cute that is. You've got little heart top stitching that you could do or you could put it on anything just to, to add a little pizzazz. So that's just a little intro into some of the stitches that you have, how to change out your presser foot, um, your needle up, your needle down button how you can sew without using your foot control, um, and how we can modify our stitch, select our stitch, and use our speed control, and uh, do our utility folder versus our font folder.